All right, I have kind of a, a sad uh, lavender update here. Our lavender girl, Tiffany. Hey, you beautiful girl. You were gravid, and then she laid some eggs, and they were all slugs. There's actually a couple in here too. In the lay box, there's one. All slugs, no good eggs. Thanks, Tiffany. At least you tried. Yeah, you tried your best. Maybe next year we'll have good eggs from you. But if we look over here, we've got, oh, I should take that off. That gives it away. This is Lily, our super condo that is het lavender. She was paired with Shanko, our lavender male. And as we can see, there's a lot of moss that's been pushed out of the lay box, which what I've found is if they make a huge mess of their moss, like they sh push it out of the opening here in the lid, if there is an opening, that usually means they're nesting and they're trying to find a spot to lay eggs ASAP. And if we take a closer look, we have eggs. Wait, Lily, are you even in here? Oh my goodness, there's so many eggs in there. Holy cow, okay, we'll count those in a second. But where are you? Oh, there you are. You did good. She you... got them all out. I think, uh, yeah, I think she got them all out. Did you get all the eggies so out? Testy. Yeah, she's angry. Uh, I think so. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, yeah I don't think she, mm -hmm. nope, she doesn't have anything in her. Sweet, she's good to go. Yeah, all good right. job, girl. Well, since we've already checked her out, I might just take this out and then we can leave her alone. Yeah, I'll just put this over here. Yeah, and you can have one yeah, of your caves cave. back. We'll get you another one later. We'll just push that in so she can relax. And let's see what's inside. All right, I have our pearl light ready in a little a little container. And I think these are a lot of air holes, so we're gonna tape up most of those because you need very little, if any, ventilation for eggs in incubation. So we're probably gonna tape those up. Let's take a look at what's inside. And yes, this is a toolbox from the Dollar Tree. They work great as hognose snake lay boxes because then you can open the lid and peek inside. Wow, look at those pearly whites right there. Okay, we've got two over there and get ready for this. <gasps> oh my gosh. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven? Ten there oh, and 12. two, so a nice even oh, dozen. Oh, there's another one in there, so there's 13. Oh, and another one there, 14. Jeez, she's oh, an my overachiever. Oh my gosh, yeah, she is. And she's het. She is Superconda Het um, Lavender. I keep wanting to say purple today for some reason. Het Lavender, and she was paired with... She was Shanko. Was it just Shanko? Yeah, Maybe she was sure. only paired with Shanko, our lavender so male. So 50% should be lavender. Yes, well, all of them and will be condas, yeah. and 50% of those condas will be lavender That's too. That's amazing. Yes, so we are very excited for this clutch, even though unfortunately Tiffany, our actual lavender, laid all slugs. Maybe she'll have a better next year. At least we've so got, we got one. some lavenders. Yes, we should have some lavenders, assuming Lily is in fact het lavender, which That's this true. is a big test. We'll know in a couple months. But first, we have to set them up for incubation. Okay, first I'm gonna pour some water in here. Oops, that was way too much water. Oh well, I guess I'll mix it and, and then. Some back. Yeah, and then pour some back. Exactly. How much extra did Emily do? <laughs> Coming out of the holes on the side, yeah. It kind of spilled through. I'm not used to pouring with a bucket. Okay, that's sure, what I'm. That's, that's my excuse. Reason. Yeah, we're just gonna pour all that back. Whoop! Not the pour light though. There we go. <laughs> okay. And now we're good. And now we're good. Man, I don't know if she has 14 eggs. You're gonna need another one of those. I think we'll need two of these. Yeah, right, you get setting that up. I'll grab another. Thing. Okay. Uh, 14. Shoot, so I'm gonna, uh, maybe I'll go. Like <laughs> six, six plus six, six does not equal 14. <laughs> I mean, some places I guess it might. <laughs> Depending on what school you went to. Yeah, Alabama. <laughs> All the Alabama viewers are gonna now unsubscribe. Oh, yeah, I forgot we were, uh... I can, I can sense it now. <laughs> I forgot we were recording. I like Alabama. <laughs> uh-huh, sure. All the eggs, and I looked in her bin too, and there aren't any others. So we have a beautiful clutch of 14 completely good eggs, not a single slug. So way to go, Lily. Yeah. I think next we're going to grab some tape and just tape up all these holes so that it holds in the humidity a bit better. All right, tape applied. Tape is applied, and 
Today is May 5th. Yesterday uh, we had some eggs laid and we totally missed the opportunity to do a theme for the eggs that was May the 4th be with you. Well, today is Re Revenge of the 5th, so it still can be Star Wars themed. So we are going to do a bunch of Star Wars eggs. I think it's funny when I can tell Emily doesn't go off the cuff because she holds her phone right here. <laughs> Don't give it away! <laughs> I am cheating because I'm I wouldn't have these memorized otherwise. I'm not that much of a diehard fan. It's still better than Star Trek though. Oh, you're starting wars. <laughs> you thought the most controversial thing was gonna be my comment about Air, uh, Alabama? Good luck with that. <laughs> that's true. So that's supposed to be R2-D2. Do you know which robot that is? It's a droid, yes. Yeah. Just a generic One droid. fighting droids. Yes. Millennium Falcon. Yep. I mean, Pac-Man. We should have said that this was the um, USS Enterprise, and then really <laughs> made some angry people. <laughs> Stormtrooper. Yeah. Bulbasaur. Yep, that's Bulbasaur. Tell me that doesn't look like Bulbasaur. It actually does look like Bulbasaur, <laughs> not Darth Vader at all. Oh, I can see Darth Vader now. <laughs> that's gonna be an evil baby. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's see if you can guess this one. Yoda. X-Wing. X-Wing, yeah. nice. Oh, I should Wait, do Yoda is then. is that an X-Wing? No, that's the TIE Fighter. No, TIE Fighter, yeah. Oh, yeah, because an X-Wing would be... X-Wing's the other one. The one with the X-Wings. Yeah. yeah, the one with the X-Wings. That makes sense! <gasps> it's the best character, Jar Jar Binks! <laughs> that one's Yoda. Yes. Like how you gave him, like, a smile. It's supposed to be wrinkles on the side of his face. It did not work. There, Yoda. <laughs> or an elf with smiles. <laughs> This symbol. Yep. Yeah, you have to balance it out now. Yep, I do. Ah, the force is balanced as it should be. There we go. <gasps> do Boba Fett. Ooh, I could try that. Oh, that's the Death Star. Death Star. Nice. That's a blunt, or is that, that's the constructed Death Star. That's right. Not quite finished. Nice. That's pretty much Boba Fett, right? Yeah, yep. Okay, cool. There's an X-Wing. That's, that's my attempted X-Wing. How about, oh wait, wait, wait. This one requires a color. And now we wait, I guess. Oh, you're doing a lightsaber. Yeah! A Sith lightsaber. To balance that out. Uh, a green lightsaber. Look at that. Doesn't oh, no. work as well. Okay, that color did not work well. That's fine. There we go. Hooray! Look at that Star Wars clutch. Look at that beautiful Star Wars clutch. All right, we're gonna cover them up. There we go! Perfect. Off to incubation! All right, yeah. back to the messy room, because I haven't had a chance to clean it yet. It's really full in here. Yeah. I don't know where these are gonna you can, go. You can slide some of the big ones back. Can I? Yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, we've got plenty of room again. Okay, they can go there. It's so weird not having an incubation room. The and green yes. tree room. Yes, this is an old chicken incubator that I have turned way down, so. Yep, it works great. It's very reliable, even though we're running out of space in there. So this will be the future incubator, just in a future video when we yeah. um, renovate it, which we should do soon. Yes, we need to do that. Here is the proud father, Shane Co., our lavender morph hognose. And again, since he was paired with Lily, who I'm not gonna take out because she just laid a bunch of eggs, so we're gonna leave her alone to relax. Lily is the super conda het lavender. So again, all the babies will be conda, meaning they'll have a reduced pattern. And half the babies on top of that will be this beautiful lavender color. That is assuming Lily is in fact het. Lavender. We don't know. We were told she was, and we definitely paid the price for a Het Lavender <laughs> Superconda, but we're gonna find out in about 55 to 60 days yeah. if she is or not. So, Yay, egg season. <laughs> Yay! So many, well, first hognose eggs. Hooray! First good hognose yeah. eggs. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to the Patreon backers. You're gonna allow us to revamp our new incubator, which we'll do in a, uh, a future video coming out soon, and we'll see you when baby hognoses hatch. Yay, baby hognoses. Thank you, Dad, for doing your job.